All right, a bunch of people asked me for a version of the Auto Chopper that I built in Ableton Live, but in Logic. Um, how it works, it's basically just an arpeggiator, then a custom script, which is here. Um, you'll be able to mess around with the JavaScript if you're so inclined, or you can just use it. Um, and then it's an instance of the quick sampler. So here's a quick demo of how that works. Let's start with um, maybe this weather report break. I'm going to drag that in. Um, I need to check that the bottom note, the lower note, is the lower note of the sampler. Let me just move this over so you can see. And then the upper notes should correspond to C-sharp 5. So here we go. Um, and let me just show you some other things we can do with this. Um, so if I come back to my breaks folder, uh, let's, here's something people do. They like to take ambient sounds and cut them up. So this is, um, the original sound is this. That's from the Glitch Magic Vision Magnet pack, um, which is a Prophet 5, or Prophet 6 and Space Echo. Um, so what I'm going to do to set this up is just set the sensitivity so we're getting kind of the whole sample. Um, the bottom note should be C1. The top note here should be G8. So I'm just going to change that in the script. And let's hit play. And I can use the envelope to shorten it to create some space if I want. Like that's a pretty usable sequence now. So here's, uh, let's do like one or two more of these. Um, let's do something crazy. This is actually my band. So this is going to be a pretty noisy sample. Um, let's change the top note to F8. That's going to be here, a little shorter. All right, crazy, a lot going on. Same thing, I can just shorten it up with the, the amp envelope. Maybe even filter it. Again, pretty usable sequence just right off the bat. Or if we want to change um, the the arpeggiator rate, we can just do that up here. Let's go to like eighth notes. Now I'm going to need more length, I think. Okay, so I don't know what I would use that for, but maybe something. I don't know. Um, but then let's try another example. Uh, maybe this is another one of the stone wire loops. This is one of the glitch magic things. Oh, we got to change the uh, the upper note there. So that's going to be A6. Let's come all the way over to A6. This has got a lot going on. So again, let's just shorten it up. Maybe let's go with a faster rate on the arpeggiator as well. Okay, this is this is back to something I could use. Um, another thing I sometimes will do is use the LFOs to modulate the pitch. This is usually pretty, pretty fun. Let me just change the rate here. Turn the key trigger off. There we go. So now we're using a random stepped LFO. And you can see how it's moving the pitch around here. Um, and then the way this is driven is just off of a single MIDI note on C1. You just make a MIDI clip draw a C1 for as long as you want the thing to trigger, um, and it'll chop breaks automatically. Um, so let's just start here. There you go. Um, and this is the kind of thing, like, you could record the audio output of this, you could record the MIDI output of this, and then edit it manually, and just use this tool as a way to get, like, a baseline, a thing to start with. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things you could you could use this for. Um, you could layer in noise and then use this envelope trick to make a sequence out of that. You could just chop up drum breaks if you're making drum and bass or something. So a lot of possible uses, a lot of things you can do by adding effects after that. But this is the core of it. 
Um, and I'm going to make another video that shows just how to install this and how to set it up so it's always available on your system.